Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will tell you how open source intelligence is useful in cybersecurity. Penetration testing and red teaming activities are typically carried out with the intention of identifying vulnerabilities in an organization's infrastructure. During such engagements, the team can carry out open source intelligence to identify if there is any publicly available information that an adversary can leverage to launch a cyber attack. Steps can also be taken to validate whether the open information is meant to be public or not. Now, let's talk about a scenario where open source intelligence benefited a red teaming engagement. Global Lantern is a retail firm that has enlisted Robin's cybersecurity company to perform a red teaming assessment of their infrastructure. Robin tasked herself with performing open source intelligence to gather any publicly available information that can be used against Global Lantern by hackers. She started with social media OSINT, also known as Sockment. She began identifying profiles on Twitter where individuals had indicated in their bio that they work for Global Lantern. She found about 20 profiles. However, she was particularly interested in tweets made by employees in IT. One specific Twitter profile caught her attention. It belonged to Debbie Trent, who worked as a database engineer at Global Lantern. Debbie's Twitter handle was Debbie the DB Lady. Debbie had posted a lot of tweets over the past six months. A number of posts were about how her work week progressed. Robin noticed that Debbie was overly expressive about her work on Twitter. Robin decided to look for profiles on other social media platforms that used the same handle, Debbie the DB Lady. She found a post on Reddit using the same handle, stating that Debbie had set up an AWS RDS database instance at work using MySQL 8. The post requested some information about how a new configuration must be applied. This information was enough for Robin's team to make a calculated guess that Global Lantern was using Amazon's RDS database instances, running MySQL 8. Based on the information in Debbie's post, Robin's team was successfully able to hack their way into the database, gaining access to sensitive customer information. Robin's team documented this activity as a critical security issue that Global Lantern's IT team must fix immediately. Robin also suggested that Global Lantern educate their employees about cybersecurity hygiene. Robin's cybersecurity team used publicly available information in this red teaming engagement. Austin helped them identify a critical issue and take steps to fix it before cyber attackers discovered and exploited it. Digital forensics is the process of identifying analyzing and preserving electronic evidence during an investigation. In the process of analyzing evidence, a forensic professional may find the need to study publicly available information about a target. Open source intelligence can be used in this case. OSINT can also help validate information recovered as evidence. Now, let's talk about a scenario where open source intelligence benefited a digital forensic investigation. Sam is leading an investigation at a local community college. Some senior students have been involved in a cheating scandal. A bunch of USB drives were seized from a student. It appeared that all the drives were protected by a password. To access the files, Sam decided to perform some OSINT on the student from whom the USB drives were seized. The student had a Facebook account where pictures had been uploaded regularly. In most of the pictures, the student wore clothing depicting a music band called Light Mine. The pictures were taken in the student's dorm room, where the wall had a number of posters representing the band Light Mine. People typically create passwords that they can remember easily. The student appeared to be very passionate about one specific music band. Sam created a word list containing the names of all the songs written by Light Mine. He hypothesized that one or more song titles could have been used as the password for the USB drives. Well, he was right. One specific song title was used as the password for all the USB drives. Sam was able to access the contents on the drives. Performing open source intelligence helped Sam save a lot of time and resources that would have otherwise been spent on brute forcing. Threat intelligence is knowledge gathered from various sources about a specific threat actor or ongoing threats. This information is gathered from internal investigations and intelligence feeds open source intelligence can greatly benefit threat intelligence. I will tell you how. Let's assume that a new strain of malware has been discovered. Some analysts may post publicly about their findings, for example, on Twitter. You can utilize that information in your threat intelligence activities. Cyber adversaries are not always careful. 
Sometimes, criminals boast about their successful malware campaigns in social media posts. Security professionals have utilized open-source intelligence to track down those criminals. Now, let's talk about a scenario where open-source intelligence benefited threat intelligence activities. Leslie is part of the threat intelligence team at a security operations center of a large networking company. Several of their competitors have been targeted recently by a specific threat actor. The adversary is on a spree of sending phishing emails, enticing receivers to download an image, which is really an executable having a backdoor connection to the adversary server. Her team had been monitoring chatter on the dark web and identified that they were the adversary's next target. Leslie immediately directed her team to set up defenses against phishing emails. Employees were educated about the dangers of downloading unsolicited email attachments. Being prepared helped Leslie's team prevent a major security breach for the company. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source intelligence is applicable across various cybersecurity domains. Regardless of the domain you work in regularly, you may need to perform some OSINT during professional engagements. I highly recommend learning about the various tools and techniques to perform open source intelligence. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!